Hello. I want to show you a cool feature that you guys have on your iPads that sometimes gets overlooked. It's the map feature. You have a map app on your iPad. I have the same thing on my MacBook, but yours will look a little bit different than mine. So we're just going to explore it a little bit, and then there's a sheet that goes along with it that's in Google Docs where you could do a little activity with these maps. So sometimes we use maps to help us get places so we know for directions where to go. We might need to know where there's a restaurant and what its reviews are. We might want to um, purchase tickets from a theater. We can do all those things with our maps today that we couldn't do years ago. <clears throat> if I take a look at Milwaukee, for example, I can click on Milwaukee, click again, and I see the flyover tour option. You'll see the same thing on your iPad, except your flyover button should be in your top left corner once you click on a city or once you choose a city. As I'm flying over Milwaukee, I see some famous landmarks. I see the Milwaukee Art Museum. You might have seen that on TV. You might have been there before. They host many big events in the Milwaukee Art Museum. Now we're flying over to the Marcus Amphitheater where they have Summerfest. And they keep moving and moving to all these famous landmarks that these cities have. Notice they're not going to anybody's random house because that's not really important to the general population. The Allen Bradley Company clock. <clears throat> I think that's famous because it's got it's it's a four-sided clock and there's they're <clears throat> very rare. But if you don't know that for sure, you can Google it to check it out. So it keeps going. Now let's say I want to end my tour. And my tour ends and I say to myself, you know what, there's one place I didn't see that I thought I would. And that's Miller Park. So what you can do is, if there's something that you know is in that city that you looked for, but it didn't show up, you can just type it in. And bam, it goes right there. Okay, now I'm going to get a little closer. And then I can throw in the 3D. And it kind of looks like it did for the fly overview. So that's kind of interesting that you can do that as well. There's many things that you could look up and look at and experience through, through maps that you wouldn't experience otherwise. So have fun exploring and good luck.